All right, guys, I've been waiting to get to this all freaking day, man. But I've been going through some videos that's been that's just been challenging for me this whole entire day, man. But World Trigger Chapter 141. Let's go. I am the dawn of my sword. So we last left off where freaking Osamu and Yuma are taking on. I think Osamu's taking on Katari unit. And Yuma's taking on Ka Kakazaki unit. Uh, each one of them is taking on uh, them by themselves. And then Chika is just backing them up. So, cover page. We see Osamu with his uh, composite bullets, uh, asteroid bullets. Now, they're like uh, squares with freaking uh, arrows in between them. I'll show it to you all right here. Like, that's crazy, man. All right, let's go. The ones aiming for Osamu is Katarium. Yep. That's what it was. Almost thought we didn't have a chapter this week because this chapter came out yesterday. No, it didn't. No, it came out early this morning. But I didn't know until like around 2 o'clock. But I couldn't get to this chapter until like not now. And it's 9.17 right now. Yeah, I've been doing, going through a whole bunch of videos today. Watching anime and then just trying to upload and do those videos and stuff but alright let's go Tamakoma second let's go these stupid wires once your eyes get used to them we're able to see them quite clearly that's uh, Katsuri talking y'all already know I don't like Katsuri man she a hoe she a bitch whatever I don't like her dog forget Katsuri and uh I think it's Katsuri unit's uh um operator She's like, sniper fire alert. And Chica's uh, looking like she's about to shoot at him. And Chica did shoot at him, she, but she missed. Dang. But she made them niggas jump. She made uh, Katari jump. Because Katari's about to go in. Y'all hear a whole bunch of bumping around. It's people upstairs, so don't even worry about it. Katari looked like she was about to go in and attack Osamu. Because Osamu, as we know, is not the best like fighter. But he is a hard worker. And he learns every time he fights, man. So he's way, way better than he, he used to be, but I don't think he's as good as her. So yeah, Chica did the right thing by shooting lead bullet at her that made her jump back. Now she's like, tick, lead bullet sniping. Yeah, you better know. Chica's gonna shoot your eyes out, girl. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Page three. Like hound. Now it's uh, uh, Kakazaki unit uh, fighting, Osa fighting uh, Yuma. And Yuma just sitting out there just blocking it and stuff. Look at my boy Yuma, man. Look at him. Just blocking it. Crazy. Alright, to put a stop to Tamakoma's cannon barrage, Kakazaki and Katari unit have entered the wire zones at great risk to themselves. Tamakoma second thus has spread out to two sides to meet their foes. Yep. Osama's taking on Katari and Yuma's taking on Kakazaki. He's great, man. Kakazaki unit is using a barrage of bullets to drive the battle into a more open area on their side. Are they thinking about surrounding Agent Kuga here? Looks like they thoroughly investigated this map. However, Agent Kuga has closed the distance between himself and Captain Kakazaki. Oh yeah, this uh, this um chapter is going to be about uh, Yuma versus Kaka Kakazaki. That's what this chapter is going to be about, man. The others fear that th that they might hit their captain so they can't easily fire a shot. The Kakazaki unit shifting gears and changing to close quarters combat. Like, why don't... Oh, so they can use two triggers? Well, well, yeah, yeah. I kind of knew that, but hold on, man, yeah. But hold on. There isn't any, like, friendly fire isn't on. Like, if you shoot at... If you mistakenly shoot one of your people, like they'll get shot up. Like there's no friendly fire or one on each team for freaking um rank walls and stuff. It should be friendly fire on, man. And when I mean friendly fire, y'all already if y'all don't know what that means, I mean if you if I shoot at you and you on my team, my bullets and junk don't do nothing to you. That's what friendly fire is. Alright, man, but I didn't know they could I well I, I did know they could use two triggers. But it still came to like a sort of kind of a surprise to me. Ooh, whoa. 
thing, man. You ever get one of those burps that just sit right here in your freaking chest and then just make your whole body move up like this? You like, oh, and then you get it out and you almost throw up or whatever, man. That's what just happened to me, dog. All right, but come on, man. Put chains in the next page. All right, here we go. All right, take a, take a look at Agent Cougar's state of high mobility while he uses the wires. This is something that can only be done with, with a large amount of practice. Uh, I don't think Cougar really practiced on those wires like that. I think Cougar's just that. Ooh, Cougar slashed old girl. <laughs> Yo, Cougar slash uh, the girl that was on Kakazaki unit. But what I was saying was, I don't think Cougar's practice, I don't think he's been practicing on those wires. I think he's just that good of an attacker that he can freaking, like, fight on anything. Like, for real. He sliced, he's like, can't catch Cougar. The wires are too annoying. I'm like, look, he sli I don't know if he cut her in half or just sliced her. Like, right there. Did he just slice her or, is that, or did he cut her in half, man? I don't even know. We slice away the wires first. At this rate, we will be at a disadvantage. Understood. So now they're cutting up all the wires and stuff to stop Cougar's mobility. But they're still not going to really do anything. Like, for real, that's really sort of not going to do anything. Like, for real. Because those guys, even though they are high B rank agents, Cougar's fought against high a rate agents in like one-on-one -on -one battles and came out on top so like what what is that what is they gonna do by cutting away the wires cougar knows how to fight on the ground so like that's really not gonna do anything even though he is outnumbered do you really think that's gonna do something to cougar you really think so man come on now takazaki unit has began removing the wires agent cougar would definitely not want to sit back and ignore this of course not and it was like, um, oh boy, it was like shooting at somebody. Who was shooting at? Oh, he freaking, like one of the uh, Kakazaki units, uh, guys, not the captain, but the other dude, he had shot like this to the side and his bullets curved. He shot out that way and he went forward to attack Cougar. So when he went to attack Cougar, Cougar blocked and then his bullets curved and then uh, went to hit Cougar's shield. It's like right there, I'll show it to y'all. Like that's him shooting, shooting to the side. And then he went to attack Cougar and then his bullets curved and came and tried to attack him as well. That's pretty smart. Uh, that's something I would do. Like if I know my bullets can curve, I'd be shooting bullets like crazy over here then attacking you from the left side. Like my right, y'all left, or y'all right, my right, whatever. But I'd be shooting crazy from over here and then run this way to attack you and stuff. That's what I'll be doing. Uh, Agent Tome has caught Agent Cougar. Um, has he? Cougar looked like he did something. What's Cougar doing? What did he do? Oh, he used Grasshopper on him. That's what he did. He used Grasshopper on him. A uh, dude had ran up to him and got real close to Cougar's face. And Cougar put a grasshopper right on the dude. So the dude bounced up in the air. I'm like, watch out for the sniper fire. Oh, uh, Chica still there. Why don't Chica just shoot the test? Just shoot it up. Like, for real, just shoot it up, man. Uh uh, go back. Go back, go back. Oh, that, that was the right page. I went I went forward. I thought I went forward too much, but I didn't go forward too much. It just it was going a little bit slow. He's like, understood. But he freaking put his shield up and he didn't realize that that was lead bullet. So Chica shot him. Cause lead bullet goes through the shield and attaches to your body. Lead bullet isn't like any other regular bullet to where it hits the shield and then that's it. Either it hits the shield and blows it up or it hits the shield and gets deflected. Lead bullet goes through the shield and attaches to your body and weighs you down. And that's what happened to old boy. And then uh, Kakazaki, he's like, lead bullet. 
Look at my girl Chica just sitting up there like a champ. Like freaking Jason Bourne, man. <laughs> That's exactly what she doing. She's just sitting up there like Jason Bourne at the top of the building. Just looking at the people. Just picking people off and stuff. Like that uh, like that guy off Saving Private Ryan. That, uh, that uh, like, the dude who always said the scripture and stuff. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Bah! He made me lie down in the green pastures. Bah! <laughs> that show crazy, man. And then he fell to the ground, and Cougar is about to slice him. Whoa! Yo! <laughs> oh, so Cougar sliced his head off. Oh, snap! Okay. Yo, look at this, man. Straight up sliced his freaking head off. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Didn't I tell y'all they can't take Cougar, man? He fights against Tachi. He fights against people that's like as strong as Jen Tachikawa. Come on, come on, man. Just come on, dog. Kuga ain't nothing to fuck with. Like for real, he ain't nothing to play around with, man. Combat body and limit exceeded. Bail out. Oh my God. Oh, Kuga cut his head off. Whoa! That's one point. <laughs> a brilliant hit achieved through sniping the opponent while he was at such a precious position. Agent Tomei has bailed, has bailed out. Tomakoma second are the first ones to score. His use of the grasshopper is still very amusing. This is a very important point for Tomakoma second. With one enemy down, it seems that Agent Cougar is going to have a easier time. I'm thinking cause this chapter is dang Kakizaki. Like I remember from um last uh chapter, uh the ending page all the way down to the bottom. Uh it said this chapter was gonna be named Kakizaki, Captain Kakizaki versus Cougar. So I'm thinking Cougar's gonna take out old girl to the uh the girl that's on Kakizaki unit as well. And then it's just gonna be him and Kakizaki going back and forth. If Kakizaki's that good, which I'm not sure he is as good as Cougar. Like, he might be good, but is he as good as Cougar? I don't know, man. Like, ugh. We done seen Cougar get, do some dirty, dangerous, sick, fantastic things, man. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Sorry. I was, de sorry. I was defeated when I didn't even realize, didn't even understand the situation I was in yet. That sort of situation can't be helped anyways. It seems that things things worked out so well is because Kakazaki, Kakazaki unit is unfamiliar with us using the lead bullet. Yes. Everybody is because um, Chica's ne never used it. Everybody always knows Chica from her being the cannon of Tomacoma 2nd. They don't know her from being the lead bullet of Tomacoma 2nd. Now come on. One person bailed out. This uh, Ka uh, Katari talking. One person bailed out. Who was it? It was Tomei Kam uh, Katari. You should know. Don't tell. Kakazaki units. Uh, Kotaro. Kotaro kun. Kakazaki unit. As expected, they had it coming. This is not the place to say such things. If we keep. Uh, what is that? Dwindling. What is that? Dawling or dwindling? Dawling Cougar is if we keep dawling, Cougar is coming. Cougar is going to come over here. If we keep waiting around, Cougar gonna come over here and slice our head off. So we need to do something. Like for real. That's basically what he's saying, man. <clears throat> we need to stop waiting around and stuff and go ahead and do something. He's right about that because if Cougar come over there with Osamu, it's over. Because Osamu is gonna set it up and Cougar going to dunk it. Osamu is going to alley you and Kuga going to dunk it, man. I'm telling you. And then Chica just still firing that lead bullet at them. She firing them. They dodging it. But they not dodging it like, ooh, let me dodge it like this. Like, they not dodging like, ooh, I just missed it. They dodging it like, 
I see her shoot at me, so I'm going to duck behind this building. Uh, if we can't take out Tomokoma's sniper, then there is no minute in us working together with Ka Ka Kakizaki unit. I know that. How about we just ignore Mikamakun, then circle around the traps and go after their sniper? If we do that and leave him alone, then that four eyes will continue to spread out his wires infinitely. Does he want us? Does he want to keep hindering us until he uses up all of his trion? Since he's the most annoying and the easiest to take out, we attack him first. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry we got some in store for y'all. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, man. Rokuro will go attract. We go attract the sniper's attention, while Yuta and I will cut the wires and stab that four eyes. Got it? Understood. All right, they're moving out. Um, Chica shot at uh, Rokuro, and then Katsu is like, "Now!" But oh, hey, she jumping in and she don't know. See, she's stupid, cause she jumping in, but she don't know what Osamu can do. She think just because Osamu's the weakest, well, that's up for debate. I, Chica might be the weakest because she can't actually shoot people. But meaning, if she use a regular sniper gun, she won't shoot nobody. She'll just shoot buildings and stuff to fall on them or whatever, or shoot at them. She won't actually shoot somebody, man. Which is freaking. It, it's like Chica. That's the point Chica has to cross. Once she crosses that line. She'll become so much stronger, man. She'll become a real force to reckon with. But they need to stop taking Osamu lightly like this. Because he got something up his sleeve. See, he already charging up his bullets. And he doing something. I don't really know what he's doing. He's like, red wires? That's a diversion. Look out for the normal wires. What's up with red wires? What are you talking about red wires? What is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. Let me go to the next page. He's saying something like red wires or something. I don't know what that means. But they're still charging towards him, cutting down the wires. And then Katsuri got caught on the wire. Then she fell. <laughs> Yako chan. And now Chica sniped her. Ooh, the Chica get us. Shoot up, Chica. Yes, Chica got her. That's what I'm talking about. Now her mobility is really hindered. Look at this. Chica got her, man. Got that hoe. That's what I'm talking about. Now her boy is pulling her to the side behind a building or something. Oh, she cut off her own leg. This girl ain't playing, man. Can they feel pain? Like in the rank wars, can they feel pain or no? Because I know they have that... That... Uh, that... Uh, I'm trying to search for the word. They have that. Uh, they have that. Um, they have that setting. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna say that they have that type of setting on their whole entire Tryon body, which they can be a Tryon soldier and feel pain, or they can be a Tryon soldier that doesn't feel pain. So, do can they feel pain in the rank walls? I don't think that was stated, and if they can. This is freaking hurting. Like, for real. But I don't think they can, man, because they so easy to lop off limbs like that. So they must not be able to feel pain, man. But she cut off her own leg, dog. Look at that. Like, with no hesitation. Like, for real, man. She's like Kimpachi. Just no hesitation and nothing. Just diving in. Alright, now I'm freaking, uh... Chica still firing at her. Osamu still stand where he was. They behind the building. And now the announcer girl is talking. Movement from Katari in. At the, as the ace of the team captain Katari loses one of her legs is a great loss for them. Losing mobility at this point of the battle is going to make things very difficult for them on the whole. I think it means in, uh, in the hole or whatever. Uh, even though they saw through the wires trap just now, they still fell for it. Is there some sort of hidden mechanism involved with it? It might be. Because Osamu brought out some red wires. I want to know what that's about. And he was like, 
no matter if it's the cannon barrage buying time for them to spread the wires or our movements after luring us into the wire zone, our reactions were all accurately predicted. Looks like our opponent have made considerable pre preparations for this battle. Shik show. If y'all know that, y'all watch anime, y'all know what that means. That means damage. Shik show. Uh, yeah, I like saying that. Shik show. And Kokodai Maho. Kokodai Maho is from uh, Magi. It's called uh, it's, uh, Extreme Magic. I kept saying that. As soon as I saw Sinbad said, I just kept saying it. But back to this. If they keep things up, then things will go to, then things will, then things, if they keep this up, then things will continue to go along with Tamakoma's uh, pace. Just like what Izumi Senpai said just now, somebody must go suppress Agent Amatori. Captain, please let me go take out Agent Amatori. Katsuri Yuna's move, movements have stopped. We can't dis dispute Tamakoma's formation like this. Disrupt, I mean. I always say dis dispute when I um, see disrupt for some reason. I don't know why. It's like a dyslexic thing, maybe. I don't know. But I always say that. Where in the world was the fight between? Because I'm telling you, this chapter was named. And I'm going to show y'all at the end of this chapter, man. But Katari... Uh, Kakazaki is just looking at his uh, looking at the girl and like I understand go he's like got it and that's showing uh, Yuma and Chika defending their position achieving victory next issue how will Tamakoma unit Tamakoma unit deal with the strong wielded Kakazaki and Katari units uh, that's the end of the chapter and stuff man but let me show you all this at the end of last chapter it said this chapter was going to be Yuma versus uh, Kakazaki. But, where was that? Like, I'm going to show you all the page. Last page, let's do this. Where in the world was that? Because it was nowhere to be found. Like, for real, man. And what in the world? Now, uh, Ka Katari has that dude with the glasses on her team going at the um chica and Kakazaki has the girl on his team going at the chica now here's what I think is going to happen both of them are going to go at the chica and they're going to meet up with each other the dude with the glasses is going to try to reason with um uh, the girl from Kakazaki unit and be like hey let's take them down then we can fight each other but I think somebody going to stab somebody in the back once they try to do that once they try to take down Chica, and if they even can, because what if old girl run into um uh Osamu and he sees her and then shoots her, or what if Chica sees her coming and then shoots her, and then he tell then she tells Osamu, hey old girl is behind you, like go to the next page man, old girl is behind you and stuff, you need to go to them, you need to be on the lookout and stuff. What if she says that, like what's gonna happen? Like, that's gonna be crazy, man. And then freaking Katari, being an idiot, lost her freaking leg. Being stupid tail. She lost her leg. Now she doesn't have that mobility that she once had. Now she's gonna be slowed up. Now they gotta change their entire battle plan. And she don't think. Like, for real, Katari, she doesn't think, man. She likes to go in and just, hey, let's just fight. Like freaking uh, Blade 2. I'm going to just go in and just slash stuff up until everybody's dead and stuff. Like, uh-uh. That's not how you're supposed to deal with it once you've got your limbs cut off. The dude that pulled her in got his arm chopped off. And he lost, uh, like, some attacker ability. And now you got your leg chopped off. Because you chopped it off yourself from um, Chica shooting you in the leg with leg bullet. And now you ain't got that mobility like you used to have. So it's like, bro, y'all looking like y'all about to be done. Like, my boys and my girl is about to do y'all in, man. Like, for real. I don't know what's going to happen to these guys. But all I know is it's not going to be good. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to look good. Not, not nothing, man. Like, for real. This chapter, um, I give it a solid 
solid 7.5, solid 8. Like for real. Uh, basic chapter, good chapter to, um, it was a good chapter, kind of basic. Uh, nothing really exciting happened other than Kuga slashing off that dude's freaking head. That was crazy. And then Kazumi cutting off her leg, which uh, you know, stopped her mobility and stuff. That was insane as well. But other than that, nothing really happened this chapter other than those things. So I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 to 8. Pretty good. It was a good chapter. It was pretty good. Like for real, man. Like, let me know what y'all think down in the comments about this chapter and all that. And I'm trying to get to this page. But now I got to go page by page instead of just going to page like 19 and jump. I got to go page by page, dog. Because it wouldn't let me do uh, go to page 19 and stuff. So, but I'm going to show y'all this. I'm going to keep talking until I get to this. Because y'all need to see this. Because where in the world was Yuma versus Captain Kakazaki? Now, I didn't see that at all. Now, they teased that's the last chapter. At the end of the chapter, talking about next chapter gonna be this, but we didn't get that. So is we gonna get that in next chapter? Like what's gonna go on? In chapter 142, that's what I'm thinking. Because now it's just Captain Kakazaki versus versus Yuma. Because old girl left. She went to go fight Chica. So Osamu's fighting two people. And uh Yuma's fighting one person. But I think eh, um, man, his eyes gonna go down. Osamu, Osamu might. Uh, I don't know. I want to say Osamu's gonna like die, and he's gonna be the person that has to be bailed out. But I don't think that's gonna happen because he's just being too good right now. He says everything is just set up perfectly for him right now. Like he cannot make any flaws. They run into his, into his traps, cutting down wires, but still getting caught by the wires. Like, do he have invisible wires or something? He's still shooting them up. Chick is still shooting them up and all of that. Like, for real, man. Like, look, right here. It says down here at the bottom, chapter 140 in. Next issue, Yuma versus Captain Kakazaki. How will it um, go on and stuff? And then, like, right down there at the bottom, man. Yuma versus Captain Kakazaki right there. We didn't even get that, but whatever. That's all I got for this uh, chapter. Live reaction for this chapter and chapter review, man. <laughs> you liked anything I had to say, man? Like this video. Share this video on all social media platforms and all that, man. Comment down below because I want to know what y'all think about what happened in this chapter and what will transpire in next chapter, what y'all think about that. And what's your theories and all about World Trigger as a whole because... I have a lot of theories, and I plan on making a theory video about everything that's going on in the World Trigger. What's going on um, with Border? What's going on with the invasion? Why are the people attacking? Why are they trying to destroy Border's things? And why in the world did they even come to our world in the first place and all of that, man? But, yeah. And as always, subscribe to your boy's channel. Stay up to date with my videos. All you got to do is go over there and click that subscribe button. You'll get my video updated in your subscription box man i upload videos mainly tuesdays thursdays saturdays and sundays because mondays wednesdays and fridays i usually be working and i don't really like upload videos then because i'm just getting home from work i really don't want to do no video like that but i still watch anime and stuff so chill out on that so i will be uploading videos tuesdays thursdays saturdays and sundays mainly but i do upload videos sometimes but it's rare on the days that i do work but yeah, whatever, man. Just subscribe to get those videos and stuff and become part of Danny Awesome Family and help your boy grow and become big in this community, man. If you like me, help me grow and stuff. Share this video. Tell your friends to come and subscribe and all that, man. And we can do a good job on all that, man. But I'm out, man. That's all I got for this video, man. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'm Danny Awesome. You're awesome. Stay awesome. I love your faces. Peace. One love. I'll see you on the next one.